Hello, my name is Maureen Maureen Charlton. Thank you for dropping by um, and watching my video. Today, I'm sharing with you some free tools you can use to get your emails opened more frequently and the li links clicked in them, and how to analyze them and see what's working and what's not. This video is being recorded in Cornwall in the UK and I'm doing the challenge at Heal, the 30 day challenge. So this is day three. You don't need to get your wallet out for these tools. Hopefully um, you'll get value. So please leave the comment below value if you got value from this. So I'm just gonna share my screen because the first one I'm gonna talk about, minimize that. I'm using Zoom to do this recording. I'm a free member at Zoom and I can share my lives with five people that I invite and share the link with. So the first one I'm gonna share with you is emojis. I absolutely love emojis. I will put the links below so you do not need to write these down. Emojis are fun. The reason why I like emojis is because if you want to use a spam word like free, you can use an emoji instead. Plus, not only that, it gets your emails open. Let me go to um, some of my sent messages. Now, obviously, don't overdo them, but you can see free is a spam word, so I've used an emoji instead. Um, so. Yeah, have fun with them, play, play with them because they're really good to use um, in your email content as well. It just gets people's attention. And let's face it, if you stand out more than others, you will get more attention. So the next one I want to um, share with you is Canva. Now, Canva I love. Again, you can join it for free and you can actually earn an upgrade by inviting people. So please join my hit my link below and join as a free member. So I'm gonna share my screen again now. And I'm going to Canva. It is so much fun. These are some designs I've done. They're fantastic for doing Instagram and Facebook posts. You, you can do them in minutes. So that's worth noting. So that's Canva. The next one you probably haven't heard of is ECC. Email content checker. Um, I'm no longer a free member there. I'm actually a paid member, but you can check your subject lines for spam um, as a free member, but I don't think you can save them as a free member. So let me share my screen again, share. Let me go to email content checker. So for example, I'm in email content checker. These are all the ones I've saved. And they go out as text ads as well, as a paid member here. So I can just add credits to them. So let's test one. Let's do a subject tester. Let's do um, money here. Now I know that that's gonna have spam. So check subject. So it's giving me 89. I want, I want like 99. <laughs> so spam word, it's told me earn is a spam word. But don't forget, you know, you can go to an emoji and let's put, put in an emoji here, money. So I've got money there. So let me pick that out instead. See if that one works, email contact. So let's do make money here and see, we'll see what that does. So let's test it again. So yeah, that's got me 99, so I've aced it. So I'm going to save that. I just gonna come on C, come on B. And I know the one that I want to share it with. Uh, oh, my Mac. Notice I'm using notebook because I, I hate, um, so if it's there, I'm looking for Genesis. 
J E N E S I S. Yeah, and that's my link to Genesis. So come on, see. Go back to email content, check out the, and I'm saving it. And I don't need to do anything else with that. It's up there, so people will click that during the day. Um, I'm just going to give that some credit. So one, two, three. Yeah, it's a pretty nifty tool, this one. And I do get whatever I'm promoting, providing I've done a good subject line. Um, I usually get some leads in. The last tool I want to share with you is MailTrack. Now, MailTrack, just Google it. Again, you can join it for free. So I'm just going to share my screen again. Share. And what I particularly like about MailTrack, if I go to my email, let's go type in. Mail. Oh, 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 gosh, I'm not with it today. Track. So I sent one email. I sent six there. Five, so that one wasn't a very good subject line. Six, five unread. Yeah. So I need to start changing my content. And on that note, so I sent six. 17% were read. That's terrible. I like 30% usually. Um, let me stop share. But on that no, I mentioned MailTrack, but I'm also going to mention, finally, um, Google Docs. Make, make use of Google Docs. Let me give you an example of Google Docs. It just saves repetition. Let me see who's that. Okay. So Google Docs, each day I do um, a broadcast message. If you're reading my message today, you will see I are you making the most of the tools? The reason why I put it in Google Docs first is so I can then use that content by just simply copying and pasting it, using it in my uh, blog post, using it on a Facebook post, and then do a live video using these notes. So it's there and I've know, I know I've done it and then this time next year I, I can use the same content. So it's a quick way of creating content. Hope this has been of value to you. Please leave a comment. If you're watching it in YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons because you don't want to miss out. Big hugs from Cornwall. Bye for now. That's my Layla in the background. <laughs> She's not going to say hello. <laughs> Bye.